Noke to Macro Legend users, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to do a little bit of a test. It's going to be a real test. It's not going to be anything fabricated. But what we're going to do is we're going to dig signals underneath this old clothesline. I know it's probably never been detected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and just kind of let you hear and see the sounds that each of the tones make. Now, mind you, I've already altered this program. I will kind of go through it if necessary, or I will put the settings in the description to make it easier for you to understand why each sound was sounding the way that it was. I've altered volumes and sounds of all the tones to my liking. This is per request from one of my viewers on one of my last videos because he could not hear the legend or see the tones in action. A lot of this is going to stay live action and I'm not going to edit a whole lot out of it. So with that being said, I'm going to find my first target and let you hear it and then dig it. Mind you, I've never dug here before. a little bit higher than a nickel. That's where I got the tone. That's where I got the sound. It says it's about three bars deep. And there is my signal. No need to Two and a half inches was a piece of a pop can. That is the way a 2527 sounded on the way my machine is set up. Let's move on to the next. So we have a higher tone right here. Forty-eight to forty-four. That's how I've got my higher tone set up. I can't move on till I let go. I feel so lost, never at home. Need to be strong every The bad thing is, is if I don't find any coins or good organic targets today, it's kind of a, a waste in a sense, but it's not because you just get to hear what those tones sound like. That is right in the range of what a penny sounds like. I feel so lost, never at home. Need to be strong every breath of Cause I can't move on till I let go. So I'm going to assume by the sound of it, it's either a copper penny or maybe even a wheat, but it looks like it's something else in my own backyard, which I haven't dug yet at all. Underneath the clothesline is a wheat penny. Solid sound. I got, I got my high tone set up a little different so that you can hear them. There's the one cent. This thing is really worn. Man, I tell you what, maybe there's some good coins here yet. Can't get a date right now. If I get a date, I'll show you at the end, but uh, that's pretty awesome. I did not expect that at all. And just a couple inches away, or actually a foot and a half. Same exact signal, just a little ways away. Let's see what this ends up being. If it's close to the surface, see if I can find my pinpointer. So, after messing that up, I finally found the target. But I don't think that's the right one. It's right here. And I, I'm going to bet it's, an, it's another Lincoln-style penny. And this one being deeper, it's going to be another wheat. Yes, it is. That's two wheats, but that... My signal started out high like that, but I ended up with a higher tone. If there is not another signal in here, I'll be surprised. But if there is, I'll be right back and you can see this mess after I put it back together. It might be a treat getting it back together. But another good tone, but I, but I seem to have missed it really wildly. Now I did pull a couple pieces of iron out of here. I don't know if that was interfering with my signal a little bit, but you heard how it changed. That tone was different. It was a higher whistle. So, cause it, it jumped into a different threshold of sound. So I'm gonna see if there's anything else. I'll be right back. So I got that mess put back together, but in between all that mess, I have a mid tone here. So 
So it's right about there, it's between a 22 and a 25. Here's the target, whatever it may be, aluminum. Yep, it's an aluminum piece of aluminum can. It was buried. Oh, let's see. That was a six inch piece of aluminum can coming in between a 22 and a 25, but you notice that it was a little bouncy. Also, I have the volume turned down on my midtones a little bit so they don't jump out at me and scare me so much. Well, here's an interesting one for the yard. I don't know about the park so much, but for the yard. There it is, 18. Now, it's showing iron. Okay, now it's not showing that it's not, or it's, yeah, it's a good target now. Let's see what it is. 17, 18 on the legend. Oh, and there it is. It is the same can that I just dug a minute ago. It's only a very small piece of it. And it was actually about three inches down. But you heard that it, it had, I dropped it into, it was in the teens. It was a 17 or an 18, but I gave it that very low, almost a low tone sound because it's just above iron. It's approaching that foil setting that they talked about at 11. All right, there we go. There is another example and a different sounding signal for the legend in park mode. Don't forget, I'm gonna post all my settings in the uh, description of this video. So right up under this tree. There it is, I think. Yep, and it's just a, a smaller piece of aluminum. Okay, so here's another one that sounds just like that last wheat scent sounded. Really sounds like two signals, we'll see when I get back. So it was another signal exactly the same as before, and it's gonna yield the exact same result. Look at there. I haven't dug three wheat cents in a row on a permission in who knows how long. But lo and behold, in my own backyard, underneath the clothesline, making a test video for the Noak de Macro Legend, there's three of them in one day. They've got a very distinct, coins have a very distinct sound when they hit that tone. It has the, the, the fluty whistle sound of the mine lab as opposed to it's a little bit more crisp when it's a bigger target. There's another tone in park mode, 44, 46 and it ended up being another wheat scent. So maybe there's silver out here. I'm gonna have to keep looking for a little while. So to me, this one sounds big and sounds right on the surface. You hear how that changes tone? This thing sounded loud and right on the surface, and it is. It was the bottom of a pop can. All right, continuing. More than likely a junk target, but here is another target just over the iron range at 11 or 12. Right there, let's see what it is. Hey, FYI, this one here is something different and it was just over iron. Oh, what is that? It's wrapped up and foil. What is that? So it's a it's plastic that was wrapped up in a piece of foil, which if you if you read the manual, 11 is foil on this thing. It's a big piece of foil. It's a it's a first response pregnancy test. Holy smokes. Ain't nothing better to find in your yard than a first response pregnancy test. This one is gonna be a highlight reel. To let you know what it sounds like when it's chattery, I switched it over to all metal mode. Now 
That's a very bouncy signal. Same as them other Wheaties, we'll see. Okay, we got it out. And there's a lot of interference around here. And let's see, all right. Whatever it is, it's in this little clump, let's see. And it is a memorial, my first memorial out here. And if you can hear my detector right now, I got it in all metal mode and I'm definitely getting some interference out here. But uh, yeah, it's still, the legend keeps picking out good targets. And uh, we've hit different sound categories. The only thing we haven't hit right now is a high sounding, you know, like a quarter or a dime. Here's a signal that the legend really doesn't know what it is. There it is, a 33 with all on the good target side. Now it doesn't show anything for ferro check. Now it's showing iron. All right, let's see what it is. Be back. So let's examine this signal. So right now there is still something in the hole. There's something in this clump right now. Okay, there's a piece of iron right there. Okay, let's let's just assume that that's the bad target in the hole. Mind you, both targets were pretty deep. I wouldn't think that they would have left a water line or a gas line this shallow in the ground, but we do have a gas line that is running underground here, so I want to be really careful. Let me pause you again. Target was going back and forth for a second. When I hit it from one way, it would think that it was a good target, then it would think it was bad. Well, it was definitely round, definitely iron, and definitely deep. So we're talking about a 10 inch hole, but it is just a piece of steel pipe, probably inch and a half, two inch. It was bouncing back and forth. It would show good for a second, but it would also show that it had iron in it. A lot of times, maybe on that bouncy target, just think about it a little longer, swing over it multiple directions. If it's not solid, maybe you don't want to swing, but I'll probably find an instance at some point where the opposite happens and I either, I dig up a great target. So, you know, use your best judgment, but there you go. I can't move on till I let go. I feel so lost, never at home. Need to be strong, every breath hold. Cause I can't move on till I let go. I can't move on till I let go. I feel so lost, never at home.